Imagine you're a chaperone on your 18-year-old daughter's, you know, school trip. It's an overnight. And yet you find out during the trip that she's being forced to share a bed with a biological male. Yeah, that happened. Serena Wales doesn't have to imagine this scenario. It did happen to her and her family. She says her daughter called her in a panic from the bathroom of the hotel saying that she didn't want to share a bed with a biological boy, no matter how much they got along. Serena joins me now exclusively, along with her husband, Joe Wales, and their attorney, Tyson Langhofer, from the Alliance Defending Freedom. Serena, it's stunning that you were on this trip as a chaperone. Thank God you were there during the summer, but then in another room. So you were in the other room. What happened when you asked uh, for your 11-year-old daughter to move rooms? Well, thank you, Laura, for having us on and sharing our story. Um, as you said, we were my 11-year-old daughter and myself were on a cross-country trip to Philly and D.C., and on the first night of the trip, our daughter discovered that she was unknowingly assigned to share a bed with a boy who identifies as a girl. And I just want to point out that we love our principal, we love our school, we love our teachers, but what we don't love is this district policy that um, doesn't allow all students to feel comfortable and secure and protected, and it doesn't allow all parents to protect their children and guide them the best way they see fit. And that's what we felt we were lacking on this trip. Well, Joe, your wife is a lot nicer than I would be in this circumstance. I mean, uh, I, I, to me, it's not about whether someone's nice or not. You know, most people are nice. Most people are nice people. Your daughter is going to be in a bed with a boy. Mm -hmm. And this is when your mm -hmm. wife is on the trip. I, these facts are so mind-blowing to me. I can't even believe them. But, Joe, at this point, you know, did you consider pulling your daughter out of the trip and just saying, we're, we're out of here? I mean, you weren't there, but at that point, I would have hit the road and probably moved schools, but that's just me. Uh, yeah, honestly, that was my first reaction. And as we sat and we talked about it, we didn't want to take the trip away from our daughter. She didn't do anything wrong. We didn't do anything wrong, so we didn't want to take the trip from her. She looked forward to the trip for quite some time, so we wanted to make sure she was able to enjoy her trip. Well, Tyson, I understand that. You're the attorney for Alliance Defending Freedom. You do great work, by the way, and these parents are trying to balance, you know, having a normal experience for their daughter and this district policy that requires treating everybody and, you know, everyone's equal, no one's different. What do you do? Well, you do what they did, which is call Alliance Defending Freedom and 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 stand up for their daughter. And what they and so what we're asking the school to do is to tell parents what the policy is, one, and two, to allow the parents to opt their children out if they're you know, if they find out that their their daughter, their eleven year old daughter, is going to be sleeping in the same bed with a boy. Uh, that's wrong. That is why do wrong. you have to opt I mean, it seems like why do you have to opt out? This should not even be a a question at all. It absolutely should not be a question. I agree with that. But if the school is going to have this policy, oh they absolutely should not be able to hide this information from parents. Oh, they're and hiding it. And Serena, what happened when you asked to have your daughter move rooms uh, briefly? What happened? Well, she actually, when we were able to finally do it, we, she and I were not able to discuss what happened with anybody else on the trip. We were told to hide it because to protect all of the students that were on the trip. What? Wait a second. You're trying to control <laughs> your freedom of expression as a as a as your daughter's expression and your concern. Mm -hmm. Joe. Your thoughts here, I guess you can't <laughs> yeah. speak about it. This is, it, yeah. you know, this is, uh, you know, the CCP land. You can't you can't you can't speak the truth mm -hmm. anymore. Right. Right. Well, we were, you know, like you, you mentioned, I, w I wasn't on the trip. I, I was finding out. I was here at home with my other two children, and uh, and our daughter called us, and or called me, and told me what was going on. I called Serena, asked, you know, is this really what's happening? And she confirmed the story. And um, from there, we, you know, we started trying to figure out how we were going to address this issue. And um, we do feel like it's a story that needs to be told. We think all kids deserve respect and privacy, but it needs to be applied equally uh, to, to to all children. And this policy, the way it is right now, is is very one sided. Well. Uh, all of you, Alliance Defending Freedom, fantastic work. Thank you for doing what you're doing. Joe, Serena, thank you for telling your story. That's it for us tonight. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.